So do you want an easy build to basically just do nothing while doing long endurance survival mission? Well, here's a lazy Gar nuke build. Starting off, we have our first ability, Shattered Lash. This is what we will use for our fourth ability, as this will increase our damage for our second ability over time. Ability is Splinter Storm. This is what we will be using as our main source of damage. We are Helmethin, our third ability for Nourish, as we are using Nourish for our energy multiplier and the AoE Viral. And then, last but not least, the fourth ability, Mass Vetrified which help increase our damage over time for our second ability. So the idea of this entire build would basically mean click three, two, four, one. Three, two, four, one. Simple enough. As for the Gar build itself, this build is, again, a lazy nuke build where it lasts longer and it does a lot of damage. So we are basically just building up duration and we're building up strength. Yes, range is important, but you do not need that much range as you are invisible the entire time. So, we're using Steel Charge to help us get that melee damage. Power Drift for more strength. Also get that 30% chance to resist lockdown. Prime Continuity and Arrow Minded for duration. Stretch and Augur Reach for more range since Narrow Minded is decreasing that range. So, we do need two Stretch Mods here. Transcend Fortitude and Ogre Secret and Umbra Intensify for that strength and then Prime Flow for that large energy pool. Again, we are building for strength and duration, so we're using Molt Augmented and Molt Efficiency. As of our stat stick, the Bow Incarnate or the Ceramic Dagger Incarnate will work perfectly fine, but we are using the Ceramic Dagger for the fourth evolution, giving us that 30% critical chance. The Bow Staff, if you want to proc more slash but we are just trying to get as much damage as we can out of Gar herself. So the build's simple enough. We are using Prime Pressure Point, Spoiled Strike for more melee damage, Gladiator's Might, Organ Shatter for more critical damage, Weep and Zoom for the status chance, uh, Shock and Touch, and Prime Fever Strike for Raw Corrosive, and then Buzzkill for more slash. The Arcane really does not matter. This build was meant without the arcane so you could slap in whatever you want right here and as of skill tree we're using Naramon for the only thing which is power spike and as of argon shards I do not have gar maxed out with the argon shards but currently what I would run is two yellow shards with casting speed and then three other red shards with ability strength so it's up to you whether you want the three or you just want all reds it's how you would want to play and last but not least we are using the harass kubra just for one mod only and it's stock this is all you need for the entire build everything else is preference i'm just lazy currently to even form of this guy so stock is all you need for this entire companion build basically here's the idea of how to play Gara and just be completely lazy like you are playing Octavia. So basically, if you want to nourish, you want to try to get as much energy without dying. So since we do not have Rolling Guard, and it takes a while for our invisibility to activate, so basically this is what it is. So we'll click 4 after we nourish, and go 1. So that's how you basically build up your damage right now. So we are going to showcase everything. So We'll click 2. As you can see, our Splinter Storm is now activated. So we click 4. We click 1. Our damage has already increased. So all you got to do is just build up as much as you can. Energy is not to be an issue as Nourish Energy Multiplier has given us a lot. So just walk around, build up your Shattered... Or your Splinter Storm, my bad. Just build up the Splinter Storm. You could just kill anything in your way. Doesn't even matter who it is. Just walk up, kill everything. And then all you gotta do is replenish Nourish every now and then. To give us the Energy Multiplier and that Viral. So, 
this is basically on par with Octavia just going invisible while doing a crazy amount of damage without even taking damage. It's literally just that good. Because we are invisible the entire time due to our companion's ability stalk. But here's the thing about stalk. You cannot do, you cannot melee nor shoot any of your weapons. So, for example, right now, if I wanted to shoot my grimoire, I'd just become fully exposed. So, at this point, you're just going to have to escape everything without dying until your ability is reactivated, like right here. Also, if I can find it right now, I think it's oh, gameplay. So, if you go to gameplay, invert tab, switch Garas to inverted, as she has two sets. So, basically... If you was to hold down one, you would only do a puncture, while we want is what the build is meant to be, which is slash everybody. So, that's something important that many of y'all should do. Go to gameplay and then switch Garas to invert as we do not want to deal puncture. And we just want to go ahead and slash everybody, like right here. Then again, this is just my perf... A personal preference build of Gara. This is not the ideal Gara build that everybody would use as some would use a lot of range Some would use barely any duration as Arcane Energize would be probably in their arcane slot. I am just showcasing this as To those who want to be lazy and don't even want to bother playing the game correctly As y'all can see, Acolyte does nothing to me. It can just go around, put on the procs, and you're basically just free still essence. Thank y'all for watching the video. This was just a quick tutorial of a Lazy Guard Nuke build. Thank y'all for the support in the last Warframe video, and I hope y'all enjoyed.